I'm Starling on We Found New Music with Grant Owens. This is Every Single Time. To anyone Beulah Road, sitting in this house alone, looking for meaning, anxious not breathing, reaching for another dream. I stop myself and then I think Sit with the feeling Sit with the feeling Late night and you put me down You keep on with your bad mouth You pull apart everything I say Oh, oh, faded light has become a me It's time to switch my reality This ain't right so it's time to go I know I'm enough, I can see it I know I'm enough, I can feel it I know I'm enough, let the phoenix rise I know I'm enough, I can see it I know I'm enough, I can feel it I know I'm enough, let the phoenix rise Every single time Every single time Every single time I know I'm enough, I can feel it Every single time Every single time, every single time I know I'm enough, let the phoenix rise Pack your bags, it's time to go Put an end to the show The taxi is waiting It's no time for wasting Rummage round in my head I'm Shocked by all the words you said A decade of questions Long nights, obsessions Late night and you put me down Keep on with your bad mouth You pull apart everything I say Oh, oh, a faded light has become a me It's time to switch my reality This ain't right, so it's time to go I know I'm enough, I can see it I know I'm enough, I can feel it I know I'm enough, let the phoenix rise I know I'm enough, I can see it I know I'm enough, I can feel it I know I'm enough, let the phoenix rise Every single time Every single time Every single time I know I'm enough, I can feel it Every single time Every single time Every single time I know I'm enough, I can feel it every single time Every single time, every single time I know I'm enough, I can feel it every single time Every single time, every single time I know I'm enough, let the phoenix rise We are joined by Starling all the way from London in the studio, welcome Hell yes, thank you <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. You just performed every single time, which has been featured on Love Island UK. And we're going to talk Love about that. that. Show. Yeah, you just, <laughs> I've never seen it, but I trust you. Uh, you just performed your US debut with us at We Found New Music. I am very honored that you chose us uh, to, to do that. And let me just say, she is stunning. You were incredible. I hadn't really even heard music, I just took Jeff's word. Uh, and, you know, um, I'm a huge fan now. Thank you so much, Grant. So definitely, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. And I, I, it seems like you have quite a busy trip here. <laughs> yeah, two, scheduled. two weeks of craziness. That's awesome. So yeah, tell us about the trip. Well, the trip has started with you, which I love, <laughs> the uh, live show over at Hotel Ziggy, mm -hmm. which if people haven't already, I hope they have, uh, come to the new space. Mm -hmm. It's just special, incredible. Isn't it? It's so special. Yeah. The sound is amazing. And I just want to thank you for a moment as well, because what you create with We Found New Music is literally what people need. I feel like it's so hard to discover um, and to know where you can go to that you can trust. It's always going to be an incredible artist or somebody you're going to fall in love with. And that's what you do. So the thank fact you. my debut is with you, I'm like, hell yes. <laughs> I, really I won't forget that this. so much. Now, how long have you been creating music? Oh, I'm going to say including pandemic, which I feel is like two years shrunk into a month. I'm going to say five years. Okay. And um, 
yeah, it's kind of an interesting story how I got discovered. I, I always thought I couldn't sing. I was always sort of told by my siblings and school teachers like, oh, shut up. Um, and so I kind of had very low confidence and I was a waitress for far too many years no in kidding. Soho in London. Yeah, I think I meant to be there for like seven months and it was seven years. And I decided one day to just sing. The night before I'd had this dream that I sing and people like it and there's a fireplace and all this kind of thing. And I did it. I stood up on this table at the end of a bar shift. Anyway, in the audience was Sia's first band, um, Zero Seven, who she used yeah. to work with. And they signed me and that was it. And so since about, yeah, five, five and a half years ago, I've been doing this professionally, record deals and so on. And um, now I'm actually signed, well, oh. my management is in LA with Jeff, sure, your friend. Sure. And um, it just feels like it's popping off both sides of the world, like London and LA. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where I'm at. But the story of getting into music my God, I had, I had no confidence, no awareness that I even had a voice. Wow. Well, I love Zero Seven, first of all, so you're speaking my language with oh, that yay. one. And then vocal for Massive Attack, if you're a fan. Huge. Yeah, <laughs> I love that scene. You, yeah, same here. Uh, we'll I talk more about that. I didn't know that. that. Can we talk about that over, <laughs> over food? We'll talk about that over, <laughs> if you guys want to know, we'll be at Pache in about an hour, yeah. Oh, you got it. Um, right, Jeff? <laughs> Breaking that fourth wall. Okay, so now, so let's see, where do we go from here? Let's talk about some fun stuff. You have six siblings? Oh, I do. Yeah, my dad was busy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was. I have three. What's it, <laughs> what's it like uh, growing up with six siblings? <laughs> was it not like? I mean, there's a lot that goes on. There's three girls and three boys. Everybody is a something. Like, there's a ballerina in there. There's a psychotherapist. There's love an it. inventor. Like, it's happening. Um, but I, I love it. I don't know. I guess a part of me wishes or will wish to one day have that many children because it's crazy. <laughs> Well, you've experienced it firsthand, so you know exactly what to expect. <laughs> and you have some bunny rabbits, or you have a love well, for was... bunny rabbits. I just, I just have a note here that says bunny rabbits. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I should definitely look at this camera because Grant, literally my thought was my father, and then suddenly I thought about all the bunny rabbits that live in my bathroom. They have had so many kids. We were literally gonna make a farm to sell uh -huh. the bunnies because there's just too many. In the end, I've had to sell six, and out of that, we've kept three. Mm -hmm. um, Boris, Beatrice, and Baby. And they live as a family, um, but they, yeah, they've had to have the, I don't know what you call that, but like they have to stop, you know, reproducing. Mm -hmm. It's got crazy. <laughs> Got to separate them at some point. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing about rabbits or is, snip. <laughs> is true. Okay, well, <laughs> moving back to the music every single time. Is that your most f recent single? Actually, I released a single in the summer called Sunshine okay. and then a follow up called Back to You, mm -hmm. which is kind of about my engagement, actually, which um, is, is a story about being with someone for a very long time and going through the ups and the downs and um, coming through the other side. But uh, not back to you, sorry, every single time, the mm -hmm. song that I released uh, in sort of spring this year was then chosen to be on Love Island. Right. And it kind of keeps having these waves where it has its moment, like it was used um, a lot online and then it's wow. used on sync. And then I get these messages from women being like, I need that mantra. Like I need you to snip that mantra and repeat that. I need it every morning. So. Um, yeah, I think the song, that song still has wings to fly, like it keeps, Sure. you know, it's an interesting, the message, well, you guys will hear it, it's an interesting message, really, I think we need it. Yeah, there's something to be said about that same phrase being repeated over and over, I think it probably gets it. in people's head, right? That's and that's right. kind of the whole idea of songwriting, and that's why, why choruses repeat themselves. Like, yeah. I gotta hear that, I gotta play it again. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, that's all the time we have, unfortunately, but I'm so fortunate you could stop by. And, Thank you so and much, join Brian. us. And uh, gosh, I will never forget your US debut with We Found New Music. So thank you to Starling for thank joining us you. on We Found New Music.